my name is Fernanda and this is a practice for surrender some good stretches it's not a yin class it's not restorative we will do some uh, dynamic and passive stretches with some uh, very good breathing visualizations for stress relief and uh, some uh, shavasana of course guided shavasana because we all love and need that let's start if you have any props bring them. I just have a couple of blocks here, a strap and uh, a little cushion. But if you don't have anything like that, you can bring a scarf. Uh, you might not need anything, maybe a little blanket or a towel you can roll, um, a pillow from your sofa or bed will work well as well. So let's start seated on the center of your mat or on the top of your mat, just finding a good pose for your hips, your back. If you need to elevate your hips, feel free to do so. If um, you want to sit against the wall for this very first moment of breathing, it's also a good idea. I will use uh, my good, good friend, uh, my beautiful singing bowl to guide us into a long inhalation and exhalation type of breath. So it's a more balancing uh, breath with a very similar time for inhaling and very similar time for exhaling. And then we'll progress into exhaling more longly, which will give us more relaxation, uh, more calmness, and um, promote uh, stress relief. I like uh, flipping my palms facing up when it's a bright day, uh, like today, if you're doing it at night. You can use the tantric method and flip your palms facing down to receive energy from the earth. Let's start just making ourselves familiar with our own breathing. Close your eyes. Anytime you can open the eyes and be guided by the image on your device. And just observe the beautiful flow of your breathing, how natural, how pure, compassionate, and simple. This breath is keeping you connected, present, and it's automatically relaxing you. In the next inhalation, arms around the body, palms on the top, exhale, bringing the sky to the heart. Inhale it into your heart. Sighing out, resting our hands down again, and breathe in for one, two, three, and four, and exhale, one, two, three, and four, inhale, one, two, Two, one, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
exhale five four three two one repeating inhale are closed, inhale, bright energy in, the lungs are full now, exhale, letting go of stress, softening shoulders, relaxing facial muscles, breathing. Breathe out. with energy, exhale slowly, when you reach five, you squeeze the belly in, inhale, releasing the belly for five, stress for five. Breathing in, good energy ascending. Exhale for heaviness melting down. two ones, inhale, Breathing in through nostrils for five. Breathe out through the mouth for five. Eyes closed for a couple more breaths. Start observing how the energy is open to receive the breath, and when we breathe with presence, the energy responds so fast, so beautifully. And the next exhalation, holding the knees or shins, rounding the back and sitting cat pose. Right. I hope you can see here. Breathing in and arching. In this arching cow pose, and start observing the heart and keep it breathing. Lifting the tip of your nose, lowering the shoulders, we will find a slow paced, deep stretch. Hooking thumbs one against the other and elevating the arms, maybe even a little bit behind the reach of your gaze. Try to extend your arms and maybe bringing them to frame your ears. 
I'm sure you can feel the good energy running through your back, trapezius, shoulders. Take one more deep breath. As you exhale, you let the arms drop, placing the hands on the back of your mat. With palms very plugged against the mat and the fingertips facing forward, bringing the soles of your feet to the outer edges of your mat so the feet are mat width apart. We breathe in and pop the heart out. We breathe out, bringing the knees to the right and the gaze to the left. We inhale, stay. We exhale, release. Breathe in, arching. Exhale, knees on the left, gaze on the right. Inhale, stay. Exhale, release. Inhale, arching. Exhale, knees on the right, gaze on the left, inhale, stay. Exhale, release, last one, inhale, arching. Exhale, knees on the left, gaze on the right. Breathe in, stay. Breathe out, release. Slowly lift your arms above the head. Let's make a, a little space for an affirmation here. Visualize you're holding a golden sun above your crown if it's during the day, or a silver moon above your head if it's nighttime. And as we breathe in, we bring this energy to the heart and we lean a little bit backwards. We inhale, touching the sky and elevating again. We sigh out, bowing down to this beautiful energy forward. Breathe in sky for light. Exhale, heart, the energy is descending, the back is 75 degrees, maybe. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward. Breathe in for the sky, bright energy. Exhale, back. Inhale, elevating. Exhale, surrender. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, go backwards. Inhale, stretch all the way to the sky. Exhale, go deep, deep down, drop the head. This is the last one. We'll Stay for a couple of breaths in each pose. Inhale, lift. Maybe hooking thumbs will help the spine and shoulders. Take one more breath. Exhale, hands in front of the heart in namaste. And you challenge your core a little bit so you can stretch better later. Breathe in sky. And sign out forward. If the hands are not touching the ground, it's completely okay to rest them on those props you have there, your blanket, your pillow. Or just drop the hands down and try to drop the crown. Visualize you're dripping into the earth. Every thought of fear worry, disbelief, pressure, and every thought that keeps you away from yourself and your inner truth. Don't like items. 
temporary treatment. Inhaling deeply. And out. Slowly, slowly uncoil. And back to center. We'll bend the knees and connect to the soles of the feet in Baddha Konasana. If you need to tuck blocks under the back of your knees or thighs this way in any position the blocks can better serve you to so props exist to serve us or just to hold on the feet you can also have your hands on your knees for a couple of breaths um, think about your spine being a waterfall and how the water is super aligned and at the same time flexible there's no rigidity there's no forceful energy the water is falling perfectly in a beautiful line without any rigidity that's the energy running through your spine there's space in every breath you create more space lowering your shoulders lifting the crown now as we exhale we round the spine and try to keep the arms extended bringing the chin to the chest or collarbone Go as deep as you can backwards, almost if you would lie down on the back of your mat. And we breathe in, shining the heart out, lifting the left arm to the sky. And exhale, twisting that arm to the back of your room for you to the space behind you, parallel to the ground, pause and breathe. Inhale, sky. Exhale, sitting catch pose. Inhale, right side. Exhale, twist. Breathe in, stay. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Breathing and switching. Exhale, twist. Inhale, stay. Exhale, twisting more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, surrender. Breathing and switch. Exhale, twist, inhale, stay, exhale, twist deeply, breathe in, touching the sky, exhale, surrender. Stay there for two more breaths. Move the chin along the collarbone to relax the back of your neck. And then slowly sit up. We will extend our left leg out and keep the right one bent. Maybe flexing the left foot if that feels good for you. You can place a rolled blanket or towel under the back of your left knee. Helps a lot if the hamstring is screaming in the beginning. We'll have the hands on knees, breathing. 
saem out and sliding the left hand through the chin, just bringing the crown towards your toes and inhale, waving back to center. Exhale, sliding. Keep the chest open to the space in front of you. Inhale, center. Exhale, sliding. Breathe in, center. Last one. Exhale, sliding. Inhale, center. This time we lift the right arm to the sky and we slowly lower towards the left side. Maybe some of you can touch your toes and still be able to gaze at the sky. If that's not the energy for today, keep the arm up or halfway parallel to the ground. Fold the parallel to the ground is also very deep. We're touching the toes. It's only for a couple more breaths. Bring openness to the heart. A smile to the chest. Breathing in, and as you sigh out, you come back to center. Pause to offer to yourself the energy of this pose and to really drink from it. Observe with openings on the right side of your rib cage the left hamstring. And from here, if you need more time processing the pose, stay there. Or if you want to <clears throat> keep going, press the sole of your right foot against the ground. It's kind of important to try to keep both sitting bones on the ground. Sometimes that doesn't happen. So if that doesn't happen, then sit on a block mm -hmm. and that's completely okay. From here, we'll try to bring our hands forward. If also they don't touch the ground, it's completely fine. You can use any support, books, a block, a pillow. And for those who want to go a little bit deeper, we can bind embracing the right leg with the right arm, with the palm facing up in the beginning and then back. And bring your left hand to connect to the right one and open the chest to your left as you breathe. Softening shoulders down, lifting the crown. Expanding and contracting as you breathe. Take one more breath in the pose you chose. Sigh out, releasing. Bringing the soles of the feet together again. You can support your knees if that's uh, good for you now, maybe holding the feet. Give a little bit of a softness for yourself and visualize that source of light, either the sun or the moon touching your crown, releasing stress from your shoulders, bringing softness and light to your back, the chest. Energizing the air and this beautiful energized air enters through your both nostrils. One more breath. 
And as we sigh out, we extend our right leg this time. And again, you can support the back of your knee. Hands on knees. Flexing the right foot if possible. Don't over flex the toes. Inhale. Exhale, sliding the right hand through the shin, opening the chest, breathing center. Exhale, sliding. Inhaling, realigning. Exhale, sliding. Inhale, realigning. One more, exhale, breathing in, lifting the left arm and exhale, maybe using the strap to hold on the foot or stretching towards the sky or either halfway towards the ground. We're grabbing the toes and opening the chest. Taking some long breaths. And how the body and the mind detox when we go into deep stretches with mindful breathing. Remind yourself of that for one more breath. Letting the air go, you release the pose and come back to center. You can stay and rest or bring the left foot to press against the mat. Hands on any support in front of you, dropping the crown down really helps. You can also lift the hips over anything that is good for you. So that's the first pose. And staying here is already super beneficial. It's a very deep pose. Or you bind, bringing the left arm to embrace the left shin and thigh and the right hand to meet the left one behind. And then you open the chest, lower the shoulders, gaze towards your right side open the heart and breathe take one more breath and sigh out releasing extending the legs Tapping them against the mat for good circulation. Breathing in, arching to the sky in openness. Sign out back to center. From here, we will bend the knees and separate the, the feet as we did in the beginning of our session but now we we are reaching the toes so bring the feet a little bit closer to your hips curl your toes and hold on them the arms are from inside the legs i know sometimes we want to do the opposite because this promotes more openness so we try to avoid it we won't avoid more openness at all <laughs> Breathing in and arching. Exhale and round. Inhaling to arch. Exhale to round. Keep it going and visualize ocean waves moving in your spine. Ascending and descending. Maybe washing off all the stress.
stress and tension from shoulders, the big muscles in the back, bringing freshness, presence. O amor. And from here, we extend the legs. That will give us the support we need to sit a little bit more straight. If we need to bend the knees, do so. If you need to support uh, the back of your knees, completely fine. If you need to sit up on a cushion, that's okay too. We'll cross the left leg on the top of the right. The left heel is on the right knee level. Hands together in front of the chest, maybe flexing the right foot. And exhale, twisting to the left, pressing the right elbow against the top of the left thigh, trying to gaze back, lifting the crown, opening the chest. Take a couple of long breaths. Exhale and release. Breathe in, reaching the sky. Palms are still together. Sign now, arms around you, almost to the back of the room. And cross switch right on the top of the left on the left side aligning heel and knee flexing the left foot breathing in hands together exhale twisting to the right observe if the shoulders are squeezing or unaligning and soften or even give a command for the shoulders to go down Try to gaze as back as possible. The neck is really long. The crown is reaching up. There's no obstacle at all for your energy to run freely through your back. And the spine is where all our pranic energy moves through. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, release, breathe in, hands towards the sky, palms are still together, sighing out, pushing energy back, 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 and down. Separating the feet again, and this time bringing the spine to the mat. Opening the arms out. What a beautiful sky we have today. Palms are facing down, dropping the knees to the right side. Remember to keep the feet really apart from each other. Mat width is the best. And try to lower actively your left knee down. Maybe gazing left. Pressing the left shoulder blade against the mat. Take one more breath. Inhale, knees back to center. Exhale, knees towards the left and gaze towards the right. Engaging the right knee down. Softening facial muscles. Inhale, and exhale, release. In the next inhalation, just lift the right leg up. You can use a strap to grab the foot or right hand against the right foot directly in half a happy baby. You can keep bending your left knee left hand on the left hip, trying to lower the hip and tailbone down, 
or if you want a deeper stretch, you extend your left leg and flex the foot. Take a couple of long breaths and uh, observe the difference in between the right and the left sides. Breathing in, lifting the left leg, switching, grabbing on the left and letting go of the right, maybe bending the knee to do the same thing you did on the other side, pressing the hip down or extending the leg and flexing the foot, observing and breathing. And as you exhale, you let go of uh, the left leg, extending right and left, toes facing out, palms facing up, closing the eyes and stay there on your mat to surrender in a guided practice now. Bringing attention to your breathing will soften most we can on the mat. There's no obligations to feel anything or to connect it to the breath in a determined way. It's only the blissful feeling of uh, being present today, of taking care of yourself, of detoxing, releasing. If uh, you're doing this practice, during the day, you visualize the sunlight entering through your heart center, Anahata Chakra. If you're doing this practice at night, you visualize moonlight, starlight. Now your body relaxes deeply on the ground. And the gravity is a beautiful invitation to surrender and soften. of your being to this profound relaxation and spaciousness.
Send gratitude into your mind, your body, your health. To the new connections and beautiful bridges that we are making with the universe, people, nature, life. of gratitude we start moving toes and fingers reconnecting to the physical realm stretching toes to the top of your mat and arms above the head to the back of the mat Maybe only. <sighs> Bending the knees, rocking the body to the right. Pushing against the ground and slowly meeting me in a seated pose. Closing the eyes. Having a big smile in your heart. Because you do deserve your best energy. It starts with us giving ourselves our best energy. And then giving it to the world, the universe, and receiving it back a million, billion times multiplied. In the next scene, inhalation, arms around the body hands to the sky and bringing this beautiful light that you visualize